Tana. Welcome back to my channel. I know that I have been MIA the past few weeks. Um, I just haven't, I haven't been using my planner in a few weeks. Um, I kind of am at that point where, I don't know, I'm just, I'm not feeling it. So I've slowly been purchasing some items from cloth and paper. Um, and I have like a couple of dashboards or whatever coming from Etsy. Sorry. <laughs> um, so I wanted to do a quick unboxing and then kind of piece together what I do have. I have um, a binder cover that I got from, where did I get it? From Hobby Lobby. It was on sale 40% off. It was, um, I think, maybe $15 after taxes. And it was just the binder cover, so it was completely empty. I have slowly started to put different things in it. Um, paper clips and stuff from like my favorite sticker shop and a couple of pieces from uh, cloth and paper. Kind of like these sticky notes and this inbox is from cloth and paper. This is from Etsy. These are from cloth and paper. And I've just been storing these in here, no specific order. Um, this is from Hobby Lobby for Agenda 51, or I'm sorry, Agenda 52. Um, these are from Hobby Lobby as well. Same with the note pages or dot grid pages. This is from Erin Condren that I just stuck on a um, dashboard that I created and I just laminated a piece of paper or tissue paper from the Coffee Monster Co that I thought was really cute. And then this back pocket was actually originally for the folio for the Erin Condren. I stuck a couple tabs and a little picture from um, cloth and paper. Then I have a couple of sticker sheets back here that I'm hoping to use as soon as I start getting into this. And then this is the front of that pocket uh, with the tabs on it that I just cut down the center and hole punched. So I'm going to hopefully kind of fill that in. Um, originally I was going to buy the agenda the A5 size agenda from Erin Condren. I have purchased a weekly and a daily um, style in the neutral and I ordered it about 40 minutes after launch and I went a month without hearing anything. Almost a month without hearing anything. So I canceled my order. Um, and then decided to go for the inserts from cloth and paper. So I'm gonna go ahead and open this. Hopefully you guys are still in frame. So it looks like a little goodie bag with a thank you card. So that's the same card that's in the back of um, the agenda now. And it looks like I got another card, different styles of it. These are very cute cards. Oh, I like that. It says Meraki to do something with soul, creativity, or love, to put something of yourself into your work. This is going to have to go in a pocket. I like that. 
And then this is just my receipt order. Or, yeah, receipt for the order. start I got the 2021 the entire year um, vertical weekly aligned so we will look at that I obviously will not be using the entire year and I am okay with that so this last sheet we won't use And then this first sheet, I don't know if I'll use, maybe just stick it all in together. And then I guess this is the monthly page or the month overview, your monthly. And then this is the layout that I chose. And that's the entire year dated. And then we got dividers, just plain clear dividers. Well, I guess technically frosted, right? It's very, very smooth. The other is more textured. It's nice. Well, I think it came off weird. I made my desk dirty okay and then I got a set I have two okay I have two sets of dailies um undated I don't need them every day so I wanted to have them for the days that I need them um more so to plan like my off days or days that I have projects or schoolwork that I really need to kind of focus on and stuff like that. That way I can kind of um, have more on this rather than on the weekly. I'll leave one in its plastic. Set that aside. Then I got two of the undated Hobonichi style weeklies. And these are undated at Monday start. And I chose this for any day that I just, there wasn't a lot going on. So I could pick this instead of using the uh, yearly one that I had chose. 
because there's a lot of space here. This is very little space. So on weeks that there's not a lot going on, I can feel like I'm not using as much or wasting too much. Or um, another thing that I had thought about was using this for a project. Um, like at work, I have several projects that I have to work on and keep in track, kind of um, use this to track my progress or say, hey, I need X amount done this day and here's the steps to do it. So that is what I got that for. So, let's see here. We'll look here first. So I don't need January. Um, we are in May, so I will put May in. Even though May's almost over. Well. Yeah, there's only three days left. So maybe skip May. pages. Not really a fan of the contacts. I have a phone and it's never dead. <laughs> the only thing that I can't do is put the monthlies by themselves because they're attached. It's fine. It is fine. Not a big deal. So let's see. This is kind of a dashboard area, so I'm just going to leave that alone. We're going to flip these over. This is my um, marker for the day. To kind of give you guys a little bit of, um, I'm getting sidetracked, information. I, another reason why I've been kind of not planning is, um, I've been trying to kind of focus on, or focus more, I guess, on my mental health and it hasn't been working <laughs> let's just be honest hasn't been working so I am um, yeah it's just been mentally not great by any means emotional anxious Some days it's hard to get out of bed, and some days it's not. Some days it's hard to eat, some days it's not. So I don't really have an answer of why. It's just, that's, that's just what, what it is. 
so anyway um trying to think about these dividers and where they should or shouldn't be I'm thinking about taking these dashboards out for now and then doing just the guts and not the decor. So I've got inbox. So inbox, nothing fancy. Then you got the year. Um, this is the rest of the year. Put this, and then we've got. dailies we'll see if all of them fit <laughs> i don't know why i did that put that there and then meal planning notes Maybe I shouldn't have the entire year. shift um, task card. Okay. Try out that idea. I don't even know if this is going. Okay. So I can't do the entire year. That's okay. So let's see. Let's do May, June, July, August. We'll do three months. We'll remove this. And I'll put this in an empty binder. Same with these. this a lot and so with that I'm going to put that right here at the front of the let me shut that little off monthly so inbox I'm going to put this one. Beauty is in the way you hold yourself. I think that's very, very nice. And this feels so good. Am I strange for that? I don't even care.
Oh no, do I? Do I want to cut that here? Does that fit here? Of course it won't. Maybe it'll fit on top one. weird. It's kind of weird. It's not too weird. What is this? Follow your own road. And I, like I said earlier, um, I have dashboards coming in um, through Etsy. It's gonna be a couple weeks probably, but I'll put those in here too. Did a little declutter. I wonder if I wanna put, no. Um, so what we're gonna do, this one. Uh, own your own story at the daily yeah at the daily section and these folders kind of just periodically I don't know what I'm going to use them or if I'm going to use them, but they're there. I might. Take them out. Maybe leave one in the back. The meal plan. Maybe, or should I put it in the back of the book? Oh, there's a folder already back here. I want chunky almost too chunky maybe take half the dailies Because I'm putting these other dashboards in. That's better. I have something. I have something with bigger rings. I just don't know if I want to use it.
And then this has transparent dot stickers from cloth and paper. Um, this is like a pack of different ones in the same color. And then a couple cute copy Monster Co. stickers that I wanted to keep in this and stick it in here, but maybe Maybe it's too much. Maybe stick some of them in here. in here so you can still see them I guess to be just for now until I get my dashboards in and then I'll change it up a little bit maybe I don't know so let's kind of talk about this so agenda 52 binder Hobby Lobby it was 40 or 50 percent off um cloth and paper stickers and the Coffee Monster Co. was back here, cloth and paper, die cuts from a Coffee Monster Co. that I laminated and turned into a bookmark. Uh, I have no idea where I got this. I know it's from Etsy. Coffee Monster Co. Uh, cloth and paper. This is from Erin Condren. This is a washi card from the Coffee Monster Co. The tabs are from cloth and paper. I've got some of my favorite Coffee Monster Co. washi on here. I, I just put these two cards from cloth and paper in as well as these. Dividers are cloth and paper. Most of this is cloth and paper. This is from Etsy as well. Digital declutter. Habits to put in place that give you online peace of mind. And then it gets into the weekly, monthly and weeklies. So you've got These and then today's um, marker, I guess, placement holder. Next time, own your own story. These are the dailies. Undated. Um, 
And this is the Hobonichi Weekly. Meal planning with a folder. And it's only one side of There's nothing on the back, just pretty. Um, and again, these are from Hobby Lobby for Agenda 52, as well as the dot grid paper that I'm using for notes. Erin Condren tabs. Um, Coffee Monster Co. Tissue paper that I turned into a dashboard. Coffee Monster Co. Erin Condren sleeve. I am not sure where I got these paper clips from. And these are cloth and paper. And these in the back are from Mama Gloria shop on I want to say it's Etsy and that is what I'm going to start using instead of and I'm going to still do the stickers and stuff um because I have a ton of them and I need to use them but that is kind of what I am going to be switching to for the time being. Um, oh, and then I have these. I put it on a little clip so I can take it off if I want to. Got these from uh, Michaels. And then I have Three charms, one the Coffee Monster Co. One from Erin Condren that has an H on it for my name. And this one's also Erin Condren that has the astrological star constellation for Taurus, which is what I am. And then I use the pin loop and I just stuck that right through. And then, not too much of a struggle, not as thick as it was. And then, I had a heyday <laughs> at Hobby Lobby when I went and I found this. They had a bunch of other ones on clearance too. This one which I really, really liked. We've got this one. We've got a plain white. This one was just fun. I thought that was a good one for um, maybe October. And then the next two I'm going to show I got off of uh, Amazon. A while back. So this one is a zipper one uh, that I'm storing like the sticky notes from cloth and paper in the memo pad, a couple of dashboards, um, with these rings are super super tiny so i couldn't really use it for much of anything basically so i'm storing this in here and then i'm gonna have to move this keeping my dashboards in here And then the second one is this one, completely clear. It came really well packaged and I have the other inserts in here. Um, the rest of the meal plan and notes and then two other folders that came um, with this pack, this set. So we've got this stuff we'll put in here. We've got 
daily sheets. Let's grab the rest of these. So I know what they are because it has the SKU number. And then we will do another folder. The rest of the year. And this is still in its plastic. So I will just stick that neatly inside of an empty binder. It doesn't get in the way of anything. And this is that. I thought about, I'm still thinking about it. I think the rings might actually be the same size. I just don't know if I would want to have it clear and then you see, I mean, I don't, I don't know. There's no extra pockets. Maybe I'll switch to it. Um, maybe not. I don't know, we'll see. I do like the minimal style, but this may be a little too much. So that is that. My camera died right at the perfect freaking second. <laughs> anyway, um, thanks for sticking through. If you guys watched the entire video, thanks for sticking through. I probably made no sense 90% of the time, and I am okay with that. Um, I know that there's been a lot of talk about um, mental health and stuff like that, and I know I don't have very many followers or anything like that, but let me know in the description box, or not in the description box, in the comment section if you would like me to kind of talk about my journey um, with mental health and what I've kind of learned over the past year or so. Um, I mean, my mental health journey, journey is more than a year old. Uh, it's just, I've learned a lot in the past year, a uh, year and a half, I guess, almost two years now. Um, but, I could talk about it uh, and, and open up about some of that if somebody, I mean, if you guys want to hear it, um, it's okay to not be okay. I've been there. I'm still there. Uh, it's a battle every day and it's a uh, fight a lot. There's a lot of fighting yourself to be able to do things. So I get it. I understand <laughs> to an extent, of course, I don't know your guys' story, but to an extent I get it. And I'm, I'm here for anybody that wants me to be here for you. Um, but anyway, enough about the sad stuff. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, like and subscribe. Um, I'm gonna try to get back onto a regular posting schedule and um, I'm much more active on my Instagram account, which will be in the description box if you guys want to go and follow me there. You're more than welcome to. I will follow back. Um, just leave a comment below that you followed and I'll make sure that I follow you back. And then other than that, I hope you guys have a good and safe holiday weekend and I will see you guys in the next one.